So today I'm making biryani it's with a slight difference. First I'm frying the chicken uh, and I'm taking, I took boneless pieces. So um, I'm frying the chicken and then I will be cutting this into small pieces. I make a masala and then I will be, uh, after I fry this and cut it into small pieces, I'll be frying the masala, adding the rice. And then last I will be putting these fried pieces into the um, rice. So this is how I'm trying a new way of making biryani today. So this is the masala that I have ground. I have taken um, a fennel seeds which is the most important ingredient. It gives a very different flavor to this. Fennel, uh, black pepper, ginger, green chilies, uh, garlic. I have taken a bit of nigella seeds and cumin seeds uh, and clove and uh, cinnamon. So this is the masala that I have ground. Now I will be also grinding. Um, uh, coriander leaves and adding to this masala so I have chopped up the coriander and there's a little bit of uh, mint leaves also in this so uh, now I will be adding this to the masala which I have started frying this is a soak, washed and soaked rice and this is the fried chicken so now this will be going into the uh, pan one by one so I am frying the masala now I added a bit of chili powder, uh, red chili powder uh, turmeric and turmeric powder to the masala which I had ground and kept and now I will be frying this for some time then adding the uh, leaves and then the rice frying it for some time and then adding the water once it's uh, like uh, once I add the water then I will be adding the chicken pieces which I will be dicing so now I have added the uh, coriander, cilantro and mint leaves to the, the masala and I will be sorting it for 2 minutes and then I will be adding the washed and soaked rice. So this is the fried chicken. Now I will be, I just started uh, slicing, I mean, uh, you know, making it into cubes and I will be uh, chopping this up and then I will be putting it into the biryani. Still frying the rice, you have to fry it for some time so that it becomes nice and um, you know crisp kind of and then you add the water so that it stays separate stays uh, better i mean it stays it doesn't become one big congealed mess so i have roughly chopped up the chicken and now i'll be adding it to the rice which has been uh, which i've been sorting for so long so this is i gave everybody a taste test of this fried chicken and they absolutely loved it it's very simple the spices but it tastes very good this is the rice that has been frying for quite some time now and um, it changes color and the aroma becomes very very good and i'm boiling water here so that um, you know once i put the chicken pieces in i'll be adding hot boiling water to the rice so that it cooks fast it doesn't stick to the bottom because this is got masala once you put masala in the rice sometimes it sticks to the bottom of the pan so that's why hot water so that it helps cook faster and uh, it doesn't stick to the bottom there's no charring of the food on the bottom and like no burning of the food either so now i've added the chicken pieces to the rice and i've mixed it up a little bit now i'll be adding the water once it comes to a full boil and in the meantime i'll be rinsing the cup in which i um, ground the masala and then adding that water to this and also uh, uh, you know just taking a rinse of the vessel in which I chopped up the masala uh, I mean the um, chicken so that the masalas all come into the food the biryani that I am cooking it's more like a pulao than a biryani but you can call it biryani so this is the biryani and uh, the color is much much more better than what is being shown on what is the camera is capturing so this is the biryani uh, for today it looks more like a pulao but the taste is spot on if you like the videos that i make and share please do like and subscribe to my channel thank you for viewing and bye